Forget everything your mom told you. Yes, you can play with mud. Yeah, you heard that right. We're gonna show you how to play with mud, specifically Dixie Belle mud. You can get it in eight ounce jars in white, brown, and black. And we primarily use this two different ways in our studio. The first way we use Dixie Belle mud is pretty simple. We use it to repair things, specifically veneers, gouges, scrapes, and holes. We grabbed a two by four and it had some gouges and we're simply sanding those down you can see where those gouges are grabbing the white dixie bell mud and a metal spatula we're going to put a little bit on our metal spatula fill in those holes scrape it and make sure it is nice and even remove the excess and you can put that right back into the jar but i will tell you make sure that you do not put it down your sink and you want to refrigerate this stuff. We're going to sound off the excess and now we can grab our favorite color of Dixie Belle paint and start painting the board and those gouges are like they were never there. Now the second way we use Dixie Belle mud is my favorite. You can actually use this to embellish, make impressions, or use it for other special effects. Now, here's the instructions on how you can use a Dixie Bell mud using a stencil, but why just read that when we can show you. So let's grab that piece of wood we just repaired using Dixie Bell mud and painted white and use a stencil. But you're gonna wanna secure the stencil and how do you secure it? Well, we either use repositionable spray adhesive or delicate surface tape. Now grab your stencil and using the tape method, we're just going to tape either side and you're good to go. Or you can spray the backside with repositionable spray, gently push down and you have it where it will not move. We're gonna use the Dixie Bell Mud in Black. We're going to put a pretty healthy amount on there using our metal spatula. We're gonna put the excess in the jar and we're actually going to let this dry five minutes before lifting. This will allow the mud not to spread out when you lift the stencil, but oh my gosh, isn't that amazing? It looks so good. Let's go up close so you can actually see the detail. This isn't just on top of the paint. It actually is a little bit elevated. It gives it a really cool 3D look. I absolutely love this technique and I'm probably going to be using this a lot more in our projects. I do want to remind you of two important tips. Number one, never rinse or wash the mud down your drain because it will clog it when it gets solid. And close the lid tightly after use and refrigerate after opening. This will make it last the longest. We also have some other amazing Dixie Bell videos that you can take a look down below. From their glazes, to their paints, to their stains, and even their brushes, we try to review it all. Also, when you use the links down below, it helps support our channel, which we thank you. And make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't mix out on our next review. Thanks for watching.